so we're going to just demonstrate how to load up a microcoil into a catheter for deployment. This is obviously on the table, but uh, this uh, will be used uh, in an emergency situation where you have to seal a perforation. So the microcoil is encased is uh, in in this uh, uh, needle. So it comes in this uh, particular needle. This is a Hillel two millimeter microcoil. Uh, you need a dedicated uh, catheter. It has to be able to take the microcoil. This is the ProGreet catheter, which is made by Terumo, um, and uh, the coil is then pushed along the catheter using a dedicated 0.018 wire. So the first thing to do is to load up the coil onto the hub of the microcatheter and then use the uh, pusher device which comes with it to load it into the hub of the microcatheter and as I'm pushing you should be able to see it coming through it's very difficult to see but once you've pushed this all the way through it's loaded up essentially into the microcatheter then what you do is you remove the uh, hub and take the dedicated 0.018 wire and this then allows you to push the coil all the way along the microcatheter to be able to be deployed in the point of interest which is the perforation so we should be able to show you the microcatheter coming out if you carry on pushing the 0.018 focus in on here We'll be able to just see that coming out. So if you advance that 0.018, mm -hmm. obviously, the, you would normally be doing this under fluoroscopy so you'll be able to see the uh, micro as uh, the micro coil coming out so just go slowly now yep keep going and obviously the, the design of the coil is such that it will coil up as it comes out of the micro so it's straight within the micro and it should coil up as it comes out of the tip There you go. There they are. And the coil itself has uh, filaments on it, which are obviously thrombogenic. And the purpose is that it will just uh, thrombose and occlude the perforated site.